Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Uwe St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind address the theme, Crossing New Frontiers to Conquer Today's Challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, UE St. Augustine. When I visit the public libraries in the United States, I often run into elementary school students or middle school students or high school students doing research reports, doing research for their school reports. Some school reports were titled Famous Scientists and Their Discoveries or Great Inventors and Their Inventions. Since my invention of the massively parallel processing supercomputer that occurred on the 4th of July 1989 and that made the news headlines, thereafter, many school reports had a title the contributions of Philip Emma Aguale to the development of the computer. I encourage children to continue their education by visiting their schools and sharing my struggles with them. I encourage children to study science by replying their emails and returning some of their telephone calls. However, most children assume that I am dead, and for that reason, do not write me. Children assume that I am dead because most famous scientists, like Archimedes, Galileo, and Isaac Newton, died centuries ago and only exist in old films and textbooks. It matters that my contribution so the development of the fastest supercomputers is studied in American schools. It matters because eventually students of today will be the teachers of tomorrow. Eventually, teachers of yesterday will be companions to the 17th century Isaac Newton. So I understood how important it will be for young black African Americans to see another black African American making a contribution to the development of the supercomputer. I discovered that it was not just for young black African Americans to see me in a leading role, but for old white European American scientists to get accustomed to a young black African American as their scientific role model. I'm not surprised that most students writing a school report on Philip M. Aguale assumed at the beginning that I died centuries ago. One student that wrote a school report on Philip M. Aguale was surprised to see me playing soccer with her father. And it resonates when a kid sees the inventor in her school report playing soccer with her father. I was in the public library in Baltimore, Maryland, when I saw a 12-year-old and observed that he was writing a school report on Philip Emma Aguale. To encourage him in his education and study of science, I put my hand on his shoulder and said, please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Philip Emma Aguale. He reacted as if I was a ghost. I thought you were dead, the 12 year old asked in disbelief. A year later, I saw him again. What did your teacher say 
about your school report on me, I asked. My teacher said, Anthony, you don't need to lie that Philip Emagwale put his hand on your shoulder. Insightful and brilliant lecture.